Ready to continue the action here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Welcome back to our Rogue Iron Game desk. Sam Farber, Dr. Bill Crawford. We're very happy to have Rogue Athlete Kim Walford joining us here as well as we get ready for the Women's Elephant Bar Deadlift. This is one of our Rogue Record Breaker events. It should be very entertaining. Kind of a, a preview to what we'll see from the men, but uh, these women uh, have a lot to put on display in their own right. We're excited to see them. Kim, it's been a different atmosphere, obviously, here in 2020 at the Arnold. How's it been for you so far? It's been an amazing time. You know, I'm just here with the rest of the athletes. I know it's unfortunate we all can't be here, but we're making the most of it. And you mentioned it's kind of like a family reunion atmosphere. You know, a lot of training for strength athletes. Tell from some of these, uh, you know, recaps we're seeing with some of the best of the best. They do it in solitude. They do it alone. And here, everyone gets to come together. Yes, we get to spend time with each other. You know, it's always not just about us just training in the gym. It's also knowing that once we get here and compete, we also get the time to catch up with friends and family here, too in our other sports. Absolutely. We're seeing some of the uh, setup happening right now here ahead of the women's elephant bar deadlift. Uh, the, the bar continues to be raised in strength year after year in these kinds of competition. But for the women especially, this is a great time to celebrate strength. Yes, very happy to see that we're doing very well. You know, we keep breaking the ceiling with what they think is possible for us as women, as female athletes as well. Here's a look at the event description. Competitors have three rounds to establish a one rep max deadlift. Heaviest obviously wins for the men later on. Uh, it'll be the top three competitors have a chance to participate in the Rogue Record Breakers. And uh, Bill, I want to ask you about this part of it. We saw earlier in the competition an opportunity for Hapthor Bjornsson to set a record in the bag throw, bag over bar. He elected not to do it, saving some strength. Do you think it's going to require multiple athletes to push each other over that limit in a desire to get points as well as to get the money in the record? Or is the money enough to maybe lure someone into doing something they wouldn't ordinarily do in a competition like this? I think he showed yesterday he's very focused on gaining the win overall because that prestige is what he wants and the, getting that, that gives him an automatic bid for next year's Arnold. But mainly he wants to make sure that he has a strong finish and, and doesn't, you know, doesn't do anything that's going to jeopardize that. However, it's a big money and he would love to take that 501 kilogram deadlift and put it in his pocket. He's thought about it. He's talked about it for a couple of years now. So I'll just have to see. But at this point, I think it's probably something that he's going to be very, very conservative with. Kim, we're taking a look here at our uh, female competitors getting ready to go. They seem ready this moment before a big lift on a big stage. What's going through your mind? You're just going through the motions of the same process, how you're going to grab the bar, knowing that you're going to stay tight, knowing what's at stake, knowing that you've done all you can to prepare for this moment and just going out there and letting go with it. We have been uh, given preliminary weights. Now the athletes do have options in terms of changing what weight they want to go to uh, based off other uh, you know, people's attempts. Everyone's going to be going over 500 pounds. Uh, Kim, in your time in the sport, seeing things grow, these numbers grow, you know, what, what does that 500 plus mean in this community? Especially being a female athlete, being able to pull over 500 pounds is like the same as benching 225. It's like a huge, huge thing for you to reach. So believe me, it's set a new standard for women because before it was like 315 or 405, but to know that a woman can deadlift over 500 pounds has been amazing. So you already know what the next one's going to be. <laughs> They're obviously introducing the uh, competitors out there on the floor. We're hearing it very loud in our headset as well. So if you're supposed to be listening to us, we'll keep you entertained with us. Um, but we're very excited to see this one. Uh, we'll be starting off with Sarah Schiff, we've been told, and she'll be attempting at 506 pounds. And again, you know, this is the low end on this spectrum. Obviously, these are some world-class athletes. How often do you see each other at these kinds of competitions, and, and how does something like this really push everyone to new heights? We see each other at the minimum at least once a year, mostly at the World Championships, but every once in a while we'll see each other at other international comps. 
And with regards to pushing each other, like I said, anytime someone sets a new standard, it sets a new standard for everyone. It lets everyone know that it's possible to do it. And in terms of the growth of this community, as we see Sarah Schiff from Walnut Creek, California, uh, get set to step up to the bar. She'll be at 506 pounds. In terms of the growth of the community, we've seen some women here who, who have been at these kinds of events for a long time. Are you seeing more of the younger athletes become more inspired, saying, hey, 500 pounds, that's pretty awesome. I want to start on this journey as well. Oh, yes, you're definitely seeing it, with especially the little girls knowing that they see us, that it is possible because we're their role models. Here is Sarah Schiff, 506 Easy. pounds. Easy. My yeah, goodness. that's what an opener should look like. <laughs> she did a good job of getting her hips down a little bit and, and coming off the floor not too fast to control that flex on the bar. And then just stood up with it. She's also not using wrist straps, no. if you notice. So yes. that takes a lot of grip. That bar is a little bit bigger than a normal bar also. Yeah, I can see him with. Oh, yeah. Strongman, strongwoman competition, a lot of times the athletes will put their feet out a little bit wider and the straps allow them to sort of do that. There's a little bit of technical difference, but she obviously just did a pure powerlifting deadlift. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was a very nice deadlift. As someone who loves deadlift, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kristen Rhodes is up next eight times, America's Strongest Woman. We saw her in a couple of road record breaker events yesterday. She'll be attempting at 551 pounds. Kim, wh where do you think they will go to today? I think they're going to try and go for six. Someone's going to get close, at least 575. But knowing Kristen, if she's having a good day, I could definitely see her going for six. Well, she's eight times America's strongest woman. So I think if anybody, and, and three times strongest woman in the world, so it's got to be uh, within her grasp, I'm sure. And she'll be attempting at 551 pounds. So the bar itself is a work of art. They, they put so much time into it. If you notice, the plates even have Arnold's image on them. Took hours and hours to make, to make each single plate. And there's actually enough plates to load that bar to 1275. So they just didn't put a few of the plates together, just enough. They went all the way with this apparatus and you know, the tensile strength and the length and the testing that went into it. Uh, Rogue just went above and above and beyond to make sure that athletes have the best possible chance to have the biggest deadlift. It's a beautiful bar. We do appreciate that. We do. <laughs> Bill <laughs> talked about, you know, early in his strongman career, having to, you know, build his own of a lot of these things. How does uh, the uniformity of some of the apparatuses coming out of Rogue help you as athletes? Oh, it matters. We pay attention to every little detail when it comes to lifting on equipment. It matters a lot. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Kristen Rhodes stepping up, 551 pounds. Let her hear it, folks. Your energy More than a quarter of a ton up. Easy. I think that was a good lift. Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, just, you know, so just to make the contrasting style, she put her feet out yeah. a little wider, and those straps allow you to do that. Mm -hmm. See, her feet are a little wider. She's got the straps on. She gets it to her knees to control the flex. She came off the ground pretty fast, actually, for that bar. Great lift. Next up is supposed to be Andrea Thompson at 565 pounds, three times Britain's strongest woman. Uh, Kim, going back to it about how you know Rogue has changed the game a little bit. I'm sure you know going competition to competition, and probably you and for you as well, Bill. You know, once upon a time you'd go somewhere and you, you don't necessarily know like it or it is everything the way it is supposed to be? Is it the way it is back in my home gym? Now when you see Rogue. You know what you're seeing. Oh, yes. It's set a whole new standard. Everyone knows it, so. Andrea Thompson is up next. 565 pounds was her announced first lift. Kim, what do you think here? I think that she's going to get it. No one, when it comes to first attempts, they're going to put on what they know they need to get them on the, on the platform. They're not going to mess with anything else. And I'm so impressed with the women that are coming to you and how strong they are. Hey, look at that, 565. Unreal. 
Wow. The ease with which these women are pulling off the crown, it, it is something else. And without a suit, too. So. Again, feet together a little bit more, got the straps. Really, they're not regarding the flex in that bar as oh, yeah. much of a challenge. Coming right off, she just blew that right off the floor. I think they're just pulling the slack out so quick we're not even seeing it before it leaves the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm impressed. Next up is Haley Randall, and her opening lift was announced at 580 pounds. Yeah, so it sounds like we're getting close to six. <laughs> <laughs> Part of these competitions is, you know, testing what human capacity is. Let's say five years. We're, what's the amount we're looking at? I think, well, easily, if we're doing six now, I'd say five years from now, 630 to 650. It's only a matter of time. People get, you know, used to having advances when it comes to training and nutrition. That changes the game for everyone. Jan Todd's got to be really happy about watching this also. She is uh, the yes. original star. The original. The original star of women's powerlifting. Yes, first woman to hit 1,100 and 1,200. Yes, world record holder. Yep. And uh, so this has got to be a big, big thrill for her to watch this also. Haley Randall, 580 pounds. She is ready to roll. 580 pounds in her first round lift. What do you think, crowd? Walking the Jordans, too, walking up to the bar. 580 pounds. You got it! Yes! Oh. Wow, a strong start. Certainly challenged herself more on that opening lift than some of the other women did, but nonetheless, 580 on yeah, the board. She that initial move, she was struggling to get it up, but once it got past those. She did work the flex a little bit on this bar. She 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 tucked us off the floor just a little bit, gets the flex out, yep. gets to her knees. And then strong man, strong woman with the deadlift, you're allowed to hitch, you're allowed to, you can't let the bar come back down, but you are allowed to hitch or stop the bar, reposition, even lean back. A lot of things you can't do in a powerlifting competition, but. <laughs> Next up, we're being told Sarah Schiff will attempt at 551 pounds. Now, Obviously, this is not the first time they've touched the barbell today, but the first time doing it on stage. What, in terms of strategy, is it better to have done what Sarah did, do something fairly easy for themselves in their wheelhouse, or is it better to do as Haley Randall did, push yourself a little bit more, knowing you only have three lifts on the stage? I think one thing you got to consider is that if you're aware of what your competitors are capable of, that's something you have to take into consideration, but also looking at the fact of, how much do you think they can get per lift? So you, it's up to you to really look at that and determine, okay, I think she only has another 20 kilos in her, so I'm gonna test myself and just go 15 under. That way I'll have that extra five to 10 or 15 I need for the final, because everyone knows about what you finish with. Kim, I can see you twitching a little bit. I can see you wanna I'm run excited. out there and be a, be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you out there. What's I, your I max deadlift, just so we know? Uh, unofficial 551. Uh, current record is 540. Wow, and that's on a standard seven foot bar without the flex and the whole other business, right? Yeah. So, okay, and no straps. Yeah. Yes, no straps. Jim Walford Road athlete with us here on the desk, Dr. Bill Crawford, Sam Farber, here in Columbus, Ohio for the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic, and this is our rogue record breaker. The women's elephant bar deadlift. All four of our women were successful on their first lift, the max being Haley Randall at 580 pounds. This will be Sarah Schiff from Walnut Creek, California, for her second lift, jumping from 506 pounds to 551. No straps in that cross-hand grip. Easy. Still pretty darn easy. Yeah. Smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Sarah Schiff successful at 551 pounds. She did control the flex on that one. She gets it to her knees and pulls back. Great lift. 
something I see a lot of athletes do today too because there's so many more people doing deadlifts is instead of having your shoulders back, really being more of a power, power lift your stance where you let your shoulders round forward a little bit and cut down that distance to stand up. You certainly saw that. What do you think, Kim? I think it's important that you see that she's tightening it up because she has to ensure that her spine is neutral enough to help her get underneath there so she can lift that weight up. Right. Kristen Rhodes is up next, 576 pounds. We've seen her uh, do just short of the full amount of events that the Arnold Strongman Classic competitors are doing. She has been very busy throughout this weekend. Saw her in the one-arm dumbbell lift. Seeing her now here on the deadlift. Try the, try the log. She's got three kids, I understand. She should have a t-shirt that says, I'm, my mom's stronger than your mom and your dad. <laughs> She goes, be attempting 576 pounds. This will be the second heaviest lift if she is successful so far today. Taking that wide stance. Good she is stronger than your mom, your dad, <laughs> all the kids, grandma and grandpa too. Great lift. 576 pounds. Pushing her feet down, she takes the flex out of the bar, gets it to her knees, and just pulls back. Perfect. She just needs to do that for the next lift. So now Andrea Thompson is going to try and establish a new record. She is going to raise the bar to 586 pounds. Kim has already said she thinks 600 is going to happen today. I would have to agree. We've seen some outstanding lifting already. We haven't seen anybody fail. Andrea Thompson already successful at 565 pounds and made it look pretty easy along the way. Come on, help her out. This is a record pull. New record is on the board. And I think it's going to go up from here. <laughs> I think she's got a lot of left in the tank there. Oh, yeah. Now the game begins. Takes a little flex out, but she just blisters it off the ground. Stands up with it. So much for taking the flex out of the bar. Just stand up with it. <laughs> So a new record has been set, but it might only last seconds. Haley Randall will attempt 601 pounds. Wow. I'd love to see this. I really would love to see this. As a seven-time IPF world champion? Oh, yes, sir. What do you think about this? Is this exciting? Heck, yeah. You can see me <laughs> excited. <laughs> Getting me excited for my training later on today. That's great. And if you're motivated, that's got to motivate. That's got to motivate everyone else that's watching. And of course, the hope is seeing this will motivate a lot more young men and women to go grab a bar. All right, let's see. Come on. Come on, you know. Haley Randall will attempt 601 pounds. Wow. Here we go, folks. A world record pull. Haley Randall. Oh, great run at it, though. Would have been a world record. It's got to start somewhere, though. Someone has to attempt it. She broke it off the ground. Right. Valid. That was a valid attempt. Right. <laughs> Get some of the flex out of the bar. A little unconventional because her feet are straight forward. She's not, she's not really tracking her knees. Most people yeah. actually a little bit of toe pointing outwards to track their knees some. Because that'll it, also allow you to bring your hips through once you get off the top. Yes, and that uh, uh, also the uh, the fact that you know she's got a fairly narrow stance. A little unconventional, but obviously it works for her because she broke 600 pounds off the ground. So technically, that's her thing. So Haley Randall unsuccessful at 601. 
They are not going to alter the weight. They're going to keep it right there. Sarah Schiff will try at 601. And you know, this is where the, that strategy component comes in. We talked about it early. Sarah did a very makeable weight for her at 506. Emphasis on for her. <laughs> Some of us up here are not lifting 506 pounds anytime soon. That'd be me. Uh, but, you know, the other athletes all pushed a little bit harder in that first lift. Now she is caught up. Do you think she has more in the tank because she didn't push herself quite as much early? Or is this just a huge jump that she's got to now overcome? I think she has more in the tank because she didn't push herself er earlier. So this is going to be the one where she's going to do it on. If she gets it here, then you know that she's good. A little street cred for her, too. But she's just Heck doing yeah. it without straps. Oh, yeah. This is. Let's see. This is impressive. Here we go. 601 pounds. Oh. Not messing around. She went right after it. We are so close. We are so close. Taking that cross hand, that classic cross hand to keep the roll out of the bar. Now, Haley Randall is going to attempt again at 601 pounds. I mentioned before, she got it off the ground in her first attempt. Now, I, now they're adjusting weight, so maybe not. Well, they're doing, they're going by round, so there's other athletes to go. So just like when we go to the elephant bar deadlift, but it's, it's not by Ascending weight, it's by rounds. Gotcha. That way, you kind of don't get penalized if you have to follow yourself because you're just better at the event than other people. Or get penalized because there's an extremely long amount of time between lifts. It does look like Haley Randall is going right back after it. What do you think she felt, learned from that first attempt that she can put into play here? Other than maybe I can get this off the ground, it's just that last little bit that I've got to be able to do. I think also learning that to control the whip to make sure she can time it just right so when she gets closer to over her knees, that's going to help. This is her final attempt. Will she be the first woman to lift over 600 pounds? Ever. In competition. History. This is what the Arnold's known for. This is what we came for. This is what she came for. Haley Randall locked in 601 pounds. Great effort. Like I said, at least she broke the ground, so she has some place to work off for her next cycle, getting ready for the next competition. You got to start somewhere. Absolutely, that's 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 spoken like a champion. <laughs> Someone that's been there. I would love to see 601 come off the ground and be will. locked out. <laughs> I, 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 my hands are getting a little sweaty. I know, right? Fortunately, Bill, we're not going to be able to help you there, but we we will attempt to go higher. Kristen Rhodes is going to attempt. 616 pounds. Wow. Okay, this is record breakers, not record <laughs> smashers. <laughs> so now, as as an athlete, is this the competition knowing that Andrea Thompson has another lift too and say, I need to put the bar past her, even though I'm well past the world record? It's you knowing, like I said, this is when it comes into play, you understanding your competition and what they're capable of. So if you wholeheartedly know based on your own analysis of their own training and competition results that, that most likely they're only good for this, you're going to push it if you think you can. And in training, what number do you think she has done already? It depends on what she's actually shown you on Instagram versus what she's actually done. I'm sure she's confident. <laughs> We've watched her a few years here at the Arnold, and she is prepared for oh, yes. all events. So I'm sure she's pulled around this at least. Oh, yes. The 5% rule, at least five, up to 5% lower than your, your, what you want. Hence, I said what you show them on Instagram versus what you really do. <laughs> she is ready. Christian Rhodes, be a new record, 616 pounds. Oh, come on. You know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she blew that yeah. off the ground. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's awesome. 
How's that for a new standard? That's great. <laughs> record smashers, record breakers, nothing. Gets her hips down, Ooh. feet are wider apart, takes the flex out of the bar, pulls back. I hope all of the athletes are watching this. This is perfect. That's exactly what you want to do with this bar. And she is the all-time record holder in the deadlift. All-time. She's realizing we'll how she, long. She's the strongest woman that ever lived. That's what she's thinking right now. And notice that you saw the patience as well that comes with time and knowing that you just got to hold on to the bar, maintain proper technique. As long as you believe you can finish it, you'll lock it out. See her there with Haley Randall. Obviously Ooh. a lot of emotion. And there is still one athlete left to go. It is Andrea Thompson. And she will attempt at 621 pounds. <laughs> Here we go. That emotion comes from all the hours and days and doubt being washed away, and it's all worth it, the sacrifice to get to this point as an athlete. Yeah, that one moment. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Mother of two, Andrea Thompson. Ready to attempt 621 pounds. You want to see her do it? Let her hit it. Andrea Thompson. Wow, come on. She's got it. Yes. Redefining wow. what is possible. <laughs> Andrea Thompson, a new rogue record breaker. And she's saying, I'm the strongest woman that ever lived. But look at the camaraderie. Strength athletes support each other like no other athlete. They're direct competitors. She just broke her record. But she doesn't feel like she stole her thunder because you want to beat somebody at their best. Yes. And they still have lifts to go. Pushing her feet down, getting the flex out of the bar. She gets it to her knees. That's exactly what you have to do. And finishes the lift. Kiki Dixon standing by with Andrea Thompson. Congratulations, you just set that world record. What does it mean to you to do that here today? Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> um, I'm just, it's a goal that I've been chasing for a little while. I was gonna go for 300, but I've already competed for two days. Um, but I'm just so pleased. <laughs> you are going up against some fierce competition. How much were you paying attention to their training on the deadlift leading up to today? Um, none, none at all, because I know that these girls are really good deadlifters anyway from um, it, history, but um, you know, I've had a whole competition to focus on the whole weekend, so I've just been focusing on that, and today was just a bonus for me, so. Oh my God! It's one heck of a bonus, congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable, sure. so she was gonna go even higher. That was impressive enough. Andrea Thompson, 621 pounds. Kim, your, your closing thoughts here seeing what we just witnessed. The meat don't start till the bar hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hit it in a big way. Kim, thank you so much. Kim thank Walford, you. thank you for uh, for being with us and best of luck on your continued journey as a rogue athlete. We'll, thank you. we'll see you out there. Thank Bar's you. been set. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit. We're going to set the bar for the men, the elephant bar deadlift. They've got their own rogue record breaker possibilities in store. Don't go away. It's just 60 seconds from now here at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic.